Hey guys, Eric here. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Before we tune in to the details today, I have one little favor I'd like to ask you. Are you listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify? If you are, and if you haven't done it already, it would be so helpful to Anita and I if you could leave a five-star review. It could just be putting five stars or even writing down something that you really enjoyed and learned from the episodes that you've heard so far. This kind of help would really improve our ability to give you better content and also to help other people find out about Taiwanica. So if you wouldn't mind taking just a few moments to do that, if you haven't already, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we really hope you enjoy today's episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Taiwanica mini episode on Friday, episode 74, five effective ways and healthy ways to boost your energy level after a long day. I'm one of the hosts on Taiwanica. My name is Anita. And today will be just me to do this solo episode. So I would like to share why I wanted to do this episode for everybody. I've heard a lot of people saying this, and I know deep down the Taiwanese people are very, very hardworking. When we go to our work, we put in 100% effort. We go to school, we try our best, putting efforts to get high scores or to finish uh, every project. But unfortunately, after work, we don't have the energy or the motivation to do the things that really matters to us. And I feel for me, it's a kind of sad thing because you have to do the things that you love. That's those are the things that keeps you feel that keeps you alive. And I was just always thinking there must be some ways that we can apply to our life, simple and easy to give us just a little bit of extra energy to really live our life. So that's why I wanted to do the episode today. And since it's Friday, just I want you to listen to this and give it a try today, Friday after work. So the first one is my personal favorite, which is music. I love music. I feel music just so easy to telling a story to us and we're just so easy to get into the tone, to the melody, to the lyrics. And sometimes even it doesn't even matter is it Chinese or English, as long as the melody gives us the, you know, the pump. Maybe that's the pump that we need for workout or sometimes we listen to happy songs. We immediately put ourselves into a happy mode. So the first one, after your work after your school, when you're about to do the things that you really like, put on the music. They will give you that extra of energy boost. So the way that I suggest to do is when you have free time, you just create a playlist. It is so easy that you can go on to the platform like YouTube, for example, or Spotify. It's so easy to create your own playlist so this is like a no-brainer because you you prepare ahead of time once you finish the job or finish your work finish your school hit the play button and the whole energy boost playlist just gonna play by itself so immediately set you into that happy motivated excited mode and once you're in this stage next step is for you to make yourself a drink. You had a long day of work, long day of study, long day of whatever things that you are busy with. You deserve a good drink. So there are some personal favorites that you can try. The very first one is lime, either lime or lemon water, because, you know, that's vitamin C immediately give you the energy that your body needs. Meaning, you, if you put your body into that motivation, give your body that motivation, you immediately can do an X, Y, Z 
right? So give yourself some fresh lime or、uh, lemon water. If you a little bit of a want some sweet, you can feel free to put in honey, and you can decide it's cold or hot. Just prepare yourself some drink, but keep in mind because usually after work, after long days, like really, really late in the afternoon, or maybe early evening, I would suggest to drink something that's without caffeine. Because we don't want you, we want to give you a little bit of boost, but we don't want it to affect your sleep at that night, right? So avoid, always avoid a caffeine, caffeinated drinks. So honey water, lime or lemon waters, or you can try apple cider vinegar and put just a little bit of water in it. I found just a little bit of acid that the sour taste can give yourself like a. Really good punch, so make yourself some drinks can give you that energy that you just need. Then the next one, this one is so simple, and most people either forget about it or don't know about it, which is breathing techniques. I think in our previous episode, Eric and I have been、uh, both sharing some breathing techniques. Can you know? Either calm your mind, calm your nerves, put yourself in a higher level. Today, I would like to share one specific one that you can try, which is it's a little bit related to yoga practice. Most people don't know that your nostril, we we have left side and right side of nostril, they have different functions. If you inhale in your left side of the nostril. They give you the energy. It's more active, active in your brain, active in your body. And if it's、uh, inhale on your right side, you will immediately calm, just calmer than before. So if you know about this knowledge, then if you want to have the energy boost, you need to inhale left on the left side, and exhale on the right side. So this is very simple. You just Literally, put your hands or fingers on your nose. So just close on the right side and inhale on the left side, and switch. Exhale on the right side of the nostril. So I know it sounds funny and it, it looks silly, but it is a technique, right? So you could feel free to find the place that nobody's watching and just give it a try. Even right now, like you're taking a bus, if you don't care what what other people are thinking, give it a try. So breathing technique, give it like one, just one to two minutes. It doesn't have to be long. Just two, a one to two minutes, just breathing. And this is also a really good mindful practice for you. So another thing that you can do to add on to it is to give yourself some gratitude. Or、uh, affirmation that when you breathe in, you either say or think about the feeling that you wanted to feel. Like you inhale, say happiness, and exhale, say let go. Just keep on practicing. This is a perfect, perfect beginner guide of mindful practice. So once you put in this, you are ready to go to the next step. All right. The next step would be delay gratification. Okay. So most of the people that I know of is immediately go to、um, either a really nice restaurant, enjoy a really big meal, or play with their phones, or watch YouTube, Netflix. This is the gratification that I was to- I'm talking about because once you Put yourself into that mode, like immediately go to enjoy a big meal, immediately go to you know put on your phone or watch Netflix. Your mind immediately relaxed, and hundred percent that you won't you won't want to do anything else than that because you send in this message say oh we are eating and we are relaxing then you don't have to worry about thing. 
So the like grat、uh, gratification is very important because you put yourself into the motivated mode, then your body is more willing to do the things you really wanted to get done. So I wanted to、uh, emphasize this one with a drink. Okay, but most people say, "Well, I feel hungry after after a long day. I just wanted to eat." That link to the drinks I just mentioned earlier, which is lemon water or lime water or anything that's acid or has a sour taste, that immediately gives you the nutrition that your body needs, and also kills hunger. That's a very good, very cool secret there. Like, yes, you're hungry. You 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 definitely need to feed your body, right? Like, you have to give your body what it needs. So just use a little bit of trick like this. Give yourself some acid, lime or honey because honey has sugar, healthy sugar. So they give your body the glucose goes up a little bit, and your body immediately don't feel hungry. And when you don't feel hungry, you have this you, because you drink、uh, the water and the、uh, lime water and honey. So your body has a little bit of energy. Then you're good to go. All right, the last one. I know most people must know this one, and probably hear people talking about this many, many times, but they didn't put in the effort. Which is the last last way, number five, to sign up for a class. Doesn't matter what class. It it must be. The things that you've always wanted to do, the things that you always wanted to do, it could be learning how to swim, it could be learning how to paint or draw, it could be learning how to make glass, for example, or create a piece of art, or even just a new language. This thing must be the things that you really, really, really want to do and has passion. Towards to the thing, the item. The reason why is the more you do the thing that you are passionate about, the more you feel alive, and that's what we want to have in our life. So, not work, job, study; those are very, very important. But in order to take care of those tasks. We need to live the life for ourselves first. So find something that you really, really enjoy doing, and plan a, a lesson. For example, could be one to two classes each week. If you are very devoted to this skills, you could be every day. So by doing this, you have something that you are looking forward to. After work, after a long day, and you have sense of achievement because you're doing something that you love, and you're doing something for yourself. This is the most wonderful feeling that everybody can have and can own immediately right now. If you don't, you're not sure about how much energy you wanted to put in, and you're not sure, are you going to commit? To a series of class, then you can find a friend who has a similar interest. If you are doubting about the time that you wanted to put into this class, find someone to do it with. Not only is more fun, and another person can you know like push you to say, "Hey, I know, like I know that、like、you're lazy. You just want to watch that new episode on new Netflix, but we gotta do this." So. The partners or the friends that you found to join the classes with you has to. You guys have to count each other accountable. Meaning, when it is time to do the things that you really love and you really want, you guys have to always push each other to do so. So, not only you're doing the things that you really love and this bonding with the person that you are doing these things together will grow stronger. Okay. So those are the five effective ways for you to try immediately today after work. So, finally, 
you know me, I like to motivate people, which is your life depends on the life that you're actually living in. So, not your job. Your job could be, you know, making your money, but literally the things that you like to do is the most the important things. So this is today's episode. I hope that you enjoy today's episode. If you find anything that I say related to you and you found it very useful, or you apply to it today immediately and you found it very, very, very helpful, please leave me a message and give me some thumbs up. Yes. So there will be the episode for today, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in to Taiwanica. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for listening, and we'll catch you in the next episode.